Hey guys, it's Jordan with the Young Turks and TYT Politics. I hope you're having a great uh, day and an early Happy New Year. I am right now in East Chicago, Indiana, where I am covering another uh, poor African-American community uh, crushed by uh, lead and basically a crisis where both Republican and Democratic uh, mayors, officials, uh, screwed the city over. So stay tuned for those videos on youtube.com slash TYT politics. And of course, I was just in Flint uh, covering the lead crisis there, which is still a crisis. And now, which the media isn't covering, there's bacteria. There's also bacteria found in the water. Uh, so check out those videos again, youtube.com slash TYT politics. Your new year resolution, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to TYT politics. Uh, real quick, I wanted to talk about the breaking news. Uh, the White House has sanctioned Russia over uh, alleged election hacks. Uh, I'll read it from Politico. In one of its final moves to keep Russia at bay and secure America from digital intruders, the Obama administration on Thursday slapped Moscow with a round of sanctions over its alleged election season hacks. The punishment hit several Russian individuals and entities, including the country's primary security services, known as the FSB and its main intelligence directorate. These actions uh, follow repeated private and public warnings that we have issued to the Russian government and are necessary and appropriate response to efforts to harm the U.S. interests in violation of established international norms of behavior, President Barack Obama said in a statement. The move puts an end to months of speculation over how the White House would strike back, blah, 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 blah. So the President Obama has put in sanctions on Russia without actually providing any evidence that Russia did anything. Iraq, anybody? Iraq? The only evidence that Russia has done anything or Russia was involved is a New York Times story that cites uh, so unnamed sources saying the CIA has proof that Russia hacked elections, and not even proof election machines, just hacked the DNC and uh, Hillary Clinton's campaigns, uh, campaign managers' emails. That's it, a New York Times story. And there's no one on the record saying this. They also haven't released any information that I know of proving it. Uh, Obama said, oh, we're going to, uh, we're going to, I want all an investigation and I want it put through before I leave office. So as far as I know, there's been no, uh, there's been nothing found that definitively shows Russia did uh, hack the DNC, did hack the DNC or Podesta. There's no proof. This is strikingly similar to when we went to war with Iraq over weapons of mass destruction that were also no proof. Now, I, be, I will be happy to be wrong. If an investigation shows proof, and that is made public, uh, that Russia indeed hacked the DNC, Russia indeed hacked um, John Podesta's emails, and it wasn't just Russian hackers, but Russian government uh, unleashed hackers, then we all could say we're wrong, but we have to get away from this. All right, the government tells us things. High level CIA officials tells us things. We then in the media uh, as Pez dispensers send it out as fact without actually investigating. There has been no documented proof that the Russian government, government controlled a coordinated uh, hacking of the Democratic Party, the Republican Party or any of that. And Obama just put forward sanctions. So if he just put forward sanctions, he better damn well have an investigation coming back to him that has proof. Because Russia is a nuclear power and you're imposing sanctions without showing any proof. And Vladimir Putin is a crazy, crazy dude. It's not out of the question that he would use nukes. I, I, I don't know, uh, other than trying to distract uh, progressives and the country with the fact that they just ran the worst establishment Democrat candidate probably in the history of elections and America. Other than trying to distract from that, trying to distract from the fact that they continue to take corporate money, banks, big pharmaceutical companies, big, uh, big oil, Silicon Valley, they're still taking the money. 
They don't want you to talk about that. They want to talk about Russia. Russia, Russia, Russia. Well, where I come from as a journalist, I don't just take the government's word for anything. I think the default setting as a journalist should be, I think the government is lying to me. Show me proof. So, listen, if President Obama on his way out wants to start a war with Russia, that's what you're doing. Now, don't get me wrong. Russia is not an innocent flower. Uh, Russia has tried to hack other governments for years. But all I'm saying is if they did hack uh, DNC, if they did hack uh, the John Podesta's emails, then that's something uh, worth invest- worth investigating and worth covering. But show me the evidence. There's no evidence. They're just imposing uh, sanctions, but they're not providing what evidence they have that the Russia definitely did this. Quote, Russian cyber, Russia's cyber activities were intended to influence the election, erode faith in U.S. democratic institutions, sow doubt about the integrity of our electoral process, and undermine confidence in the institutions of the U.S. government, read a statement. These actions are unacceptable and not be tolerated. Well, what actions? Where is the proof? Where is the hard data? Where is the smoking gun? Or are we just going to assume because... Uh, U.S. intelligence tells us that there's weapons of mass destruction and there's going to be a mushroom cloud if we don't go to Iraq. Do these people not learn anything? If Putin and the Russian government hacked the DNC, the RNC, whatever, yes, that's, that's worthy of coverage and we should cover it. But until you have proof of that, you should not be imposing sanctions. And how about instead of the NBC and the New York Times reporting as fact that Russia hacked Based on, un, based on unnamed officials, how about you demand evidence or you find the evidence yourself? You know, what they used to call journalism in America? I know the Democratic corporate establishment that doesn't want to pay attention to the election results. They say, oh, Jordan, you're working for the Kremlin. What, what, what other proof do you want? I want proof that doesn't come from a private security firm, a cybersecurity firm that the DNC hired. And their findings were a little, heck, were a little uh, crappy to me. And you can go to The Intercept. They had a great article on why the proof, the proof provided so far is not enough. Thank you for watching. I'm actually heading over to TYT Politics Facebook page to do another live report on Flint.